Hey guys, welcome to the studio. As you know, it's under construction, the final days of constructing it. Just some details, painting the table and also taking care of all of the cable management. I know it's it's messy, it's really, really messy, but all of this will disappear 100%, no visible cables. And all of this, every single machine right here is connected with just one cable to my MacBook. I mean, you probably all know the problem if you're someone working with a mobile device, which is highly useful whenever you go somewhere else. I very often, I mean, not this year due to COVID, but usually I very often go to other people's studios, work with them together. And it's nice to have a mobile device. I can just plug in, work with the people, still have it on here. I don't need two machines, one at home, one at the workplace. I just take this always with me. By the way, this one right here is the MacBook Air M1. It beats everything I ever owned before and it's enough to run music, video editing, no fans, really, really, really happy. But just, just on a side note. Especially with the new MacBooks, they only have like two USB-C ports, some the bigger ones, the older ones four. And this can get tricky if you have a lot of stuff that you need to connect to it. It could be an external monitor, it could be external devices, hard drives, uh, USB dongles to connect it to your printer, whatever it is. It gets really frustrating with just having like two or four connections. So you definitely need a method to expand it. And this one cable thing is just so highly satisfying because it's like really delivering power and all of the data through one cable and it actually works. I tried a lot of methods. I found two that actually work and I would love to present to you both. The first one is easy. The second one is the nerdy one that lets you connect an infinite amount of, of devices. Uh, I think I got like almost 20 USB connections running right in here and it actually all all works. But let's let's get started with the first method. Down here in, in the office, Leonard, that is his desk, he also has a MacBook and he's just connecting the MacBook with one USB-C cable to this monitor right here. This one right here is able to deliver power to the MacBook, so it's charging. It is, I think, 60 or 65 watt. So if you have a bigger 16 inch, 15 inch MacBook, it's not enough to fully charge it 100%, but it's enough as long as it's not at zero, it will be able to keep it up depending on what, what you're working on. But for most tasks, it's enough to charge it. And then on the back right here, display port, HDMI, two USB, and you can connect your stuff to it. This method is kind of expensive because you have to get a monitor, but if you want to have a monitor anyways, then look for one with power delivery, USB-C connection or Thunderbolt, which is even better and faster and more compatible with Macs. By the way, this one right here, I'll link it down below as well as every other solution I'll talk about. Just go check it out. This is not sponsored. Uh, this one, what is it, LG, it's fine. I don't like that it's curved, but that's like personal preference. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of curved monitors. Also, if you already have a monitor and don't want to change and spend a whole lot, there is of course also still option number two available. It's a little trickier, but I'll, I'll explain it. I've already tried out so many different solutions, but this right here is really the most elegant. You just plug it in it charges, just wait two, three seconds, and then the monitor turns on. I tried out a lot of USB hubs, and they're the ones you just plug in to plug in more USB stuff, and usually their biggest problem is they're not charging your MacBook. Some of them can pass power through, but then you need the USB hub plus your charger, and they don't have enough power to support external USB devices. For example, this keyboard right here, it drains a whole lot of power. It drains so much power actually, that it actually has two USB connections, one for data, one for power delivery. 
because otherwise this just doesn't turn on. There are a whole lot of LEDs right here. So I went through at least four or five USB hubs that have power delivery. If you want to accomplish this, just one cable, you need a USB-C hub that has itself a power delivery. I found two that actually work. I'll link them down below in the description. One of them is the one I'm actually using right here. It's a little pricey, but it just works. And that's that's worth a whole lot. One cable in, it goes here down below to the USB hub. It's this one right here. It has Thunderbolt on the case, which means it's made for Mac, higher data put through, and it comes with like an ethernet connection. It's not plugged in using Wi-Fi. It has here three USB for my dongle for iLock, for the keyboard and for speakers, for small speakers. It also has an audio output at the front. You can plug in headphones if you want. And the one connection that goes to the computer actually and another USB at the front with higher power delivery as well as micro SD and like the full SD card slot. And another USB-C on the back that you could use for, for hard drive, SSD hard drive that is a bit faster and then the power in. And I have to customize it a little. This one right here is pressing down on the power button. The power button is like a, a clicky one. You, you press it and it jumps back to its position and then it's on, you press it again, it jumps back to the position it's off. And this one like pushes it in, so it's always on. I just don't have to, to press the button so it can stay down here and I just plug it in and it's on. You could probably open up the unit and, and solder it and, and solve it this way, but that's the easier solution. It doesn't destroy it or I don't destroy it. And it will be anyways hidden away in the desk. Everything will be connected and I will probably never again really access it. To the USB-C Thunderbolt hub, I've actually attached another hub. This is just like an Amazon Basics one that just gives me a whole lot of USB connections. Those three gray ones, they are running to, to the outboard units and the rest is then, for example, the interface, the charger for my phone, these three devices, as well as the keyboard with the two connections. Somewhere in here, I think here is also like a hard drive, a backup hard drive. And that's pretty much it. So whenever I, I leave the studio, I just close this one right here, unplug it. And then I have this little hook right here it's like on and off for all of the power. So I just turn it off and that's it. And whenever I come back here to the studio, I turn both on and just plug in the MacBook. And I can leave it open, close, it doesn't really matter. It then just connects. I love it. it. Saves a lot of time every single day. And again, it's just like, it's satisfying. It's something I always wanted. It works. I'm happy it does if you're interested. Go check out all of the necessary stuff in the description. For me, it's now time to continue here making music for the entire day. We'll see us tomorrow back again here in the studio. I'm